see what it can do. Oops. Welcome to my uh, electric skate code and build. Um, this is my discovery kit for drones. You're supposed to buy four of these and you power like four um, drone brushless motors and you have like a flight controller in the middle talking to them or controlling them. But today I'm going to be um, using it to power my brushless DC motor on my electric skateboard. Um, so this controller can um, in input whole sensor information to get sort of position information from the brushless motor. You can also use um, just sort of standard encoders, um, A, B, Z, index, that sort of thing. Um, and it's got current sensing on board. Um, as you can see the shunt resistors, um, but I've not played with that yet. Um, I, you need to do some funky stuff with um, the op amps that come on this STM32 G4. I haven't worked out how to do that yet. So I've been twisting the pot now, and as you can see, I twist it one way, um, and I, um, you know, I can control the direction speed. Um, so we've got uh, about 24 volts going to it, uh, 900 milliamps. Um, yeah, so that's uh, obviously going to be eventually replaced with the battery. Um, this is a pretty standard battery, 1300 milliamps. It's not got that much charge in it, but I think I'll probably only be using it for five or ten minutes, so it'd be fine for that. Um, yeah, so. Uh, that'll obviously be replacing my power supply. Um, instead of the pot, I'll be plugging in this receiver. So this receiver outputs PWM, and that PWM can be um, read by the controller. Um, and that receiver is then controlled by this um, just flight controller type thing. Um, it cost about 45 quid. Before I take it outside, I'd quickly like to show you the code that's been flashed onto this board. So here's the code in 60 seconds. We've got our simple FOC include. Simple FOC version 2 supports 6 PWM and this is needed for the drone kit. So there's the 6 PWM pins. Our motor has 6 pole pairs and here are the 3 sensor pins. Um, this is the, the whole functions for the interrupts and a PWM function for the PWM interrupt. Here I'm attaching the uh, PWM and hall interrupts and initializing the sensor. I'm linking driver and sensor to the motor and specifying I want voltage control mode. Um, I am providing some voltage limits and init initializing the driver and the motor. Uh, finally um, this loop gets called about 5,000 times a second and it does the FOC maths which basically drives the sinusoidal waves to the, the three phases. And that's it. Um, that's the code. It's less than 60 lines. Um, so all that remains really is to give it a go. Let's try out this skateboard. So here it is all strapped up. Um, don't need 3D printing when you've got gaffer tape. Um, so yeah, we've got a battery there hooked up to a little switch and on the underside not much going on. There's a, you can see the uh, the drone controller and a little uh, receiver there. And I've got that hooked up. Yeah. Let's give it a go. All right, let's try and uh, see if I can jump on. The only thing is, it's uh, it doesn't free wheel. I'm going to brain myself in a minute. There we go. So that's uh, basically using a drone controller and simple FOC version 2.0. Cheers.